Welcome to Adventures with Dice. I'm Rob and I'm your host for these videos. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Old Swords Reign and we're going to be talking about magic systems and uh, spells. Okay, so before we do that, real quick, if you like the kind of content that I'm putting out, please put a like on it. Yes, it helps the algorithm push videos, but more importantly, like I've said in my other videos, it helps me know what you like and what you engage with, what you enjoy, so I know what kind of videos to put out going forward. <clears throat> Aside from that, if you'd like to help the channel, join my Patreon for a dollar a month, get tons of stuff that I put out on there, um, cards, adventures, monsters, whatever, and early access <clears throat> of about a week to the videos that I put up. You can also uh, go to my Amazon wish list, which is linked on there in the description, and uh, purchase something that helps me with the channel helps me with games or crafting or stuff that I do and put out more stuff for you folks to enjoy. All right, so jumping right in, let's talk about magic. Magic in Old Swords Reign uses the Vancean system of magic, which is um, made famous by Jack Vance, a fantasy writer. And it's the same as, uh, for the most part, as other versions of D&D, you cleric or wizard you wake up in the morning you prepare your spells and you get x amount of spells per day that you can cast now i will say two things about this i think this could have been written a little bit clearer because i had questions about it and i had to ask damien um because it says that the cleric or the wizard magic user prepare spells that they plan to cast for the day the cleric uses uh, wisdom and the magic user uses intelligence and they get their level plus their casting stat modifier per day. So for instance, uh, a fourth level cleric with a 16 wisdom, <coughs> which is a plus three, could prepare a total of four for his level plus three for his wisdom for a total of seven spells per day. However, under the Vancean system, you would only get two first level spells at level one. So what good is having seven spells if you can only cast two spells? Well, it means that you don't have to fill those slots with specific spells. It means I can, I'll, I'll prepare <clears throat> X amount of spells, whether it's four, six, seven, whatever, and then when I choose to burn those slots, I just pick from the ones that I have prepared. It works, but it seems like you get to prepare more than you can actually cast. Well, it seems that way because you can. Um, I don't particularly care for Vancean style magic. I never have. Um, so I use a different like roll to cast version in, in my games, and I don't use this at all. Well, I do use this as far as how many spells they can prepare per day, but I don't use the slot system. And I will go into that more in my house rules video when I talk about that, um, how I do magic in my games. But that's how it's done in the core game. And it tells you how spell preparation and spell slots work. It has a pay, or two pages here that talk about casting an armor, uh, spell books and adding spells to your spell books cantrips there's only two cantrips in the game and only the magic user has access to them and that's prestidigitation and wizard bolt so at least with that it doesn't take up slots and your wizard always has something they can fire they just have to roll to hit with wizard bolt uh, it talks about your spell casting focus it goes into detail about casting spells casting times components concentration, targets, saving throws, attack rolls, and combining magical effects. Now let's remember that this game only goes up to 12th level. So the spells only go to 6th level. So I'm not going to go through and read every spell. I am going to go through and give you the names and levels of every spell. But if you want to read what every spell does, just go get the book. It's $7. Or 4 for a player. Uh, the clerics have six levels of spells. At first level, they have cure or cause light wounds. They have detect evil, detect magic, light, protection from evil, purify food and water. 
At second level, they have Bless, Bind Traps, Hold Person, Silence, Snake Charm, Speak with Animals. At third level, they have Continual Light, Cure Slash Cause Disease, Locate Object, Prayer, Remove or Cause Curse, Speak with Dead. Uh, at fourth level, they have Create Water, Cure or Cause Serious Wounds. They have Neutralize Poison, Protection from Evil Near, Speak with Plants, Turn Sticks into Snakes. So I guess that means Moses was a fourth level cleric. <laughs> Uh, fifth level, you have Commune, you have Create Food, you have Dispel Evil, you have Insect Plague, Quest, and Raise Dead. And finally, at sixth level, they have Animate Object, Blade Barrier, Conjure Animals, Find the Path, Speak with Monsters, and Word of Recall. Now, the Magic User has a, still only, you know, levels one through six of spells, but they have a lot more spells. So like they have the two cantrips that I talked about, but then at first level they have Charm Person, Detect Magic, Hold Portal, Light, uh, let's see, Magic Missile, Protection from Evil, Read Languages, Read Magic, Shield, and Sleep. At second level they have Continual Light, Darkness, Detect Evil, Detect Invisible, ESP, Invisibility, Knock, Levitate, Locate, Object, Magic Mouth, ma uh, Mirror Image, Phantasmal Forces, Pyrotechnics, Strength Web Wizard Lock. At third level, they have Clairvoyance, Clair Audience, Dark Vision, Dispel, Magic, Explosive Runes, Fireball, Fly, Haste, Hold Person, Invisibility, Close, uh, Lightning Bolt, Monster Summoning 1, Protection from Evil Near, Protection from Normal Missiles. They have Rope Trick, uh, Slow Suggestion, and Water Breathing. At fourth level, they have Charm Monster, Confusion, Dimension Door, and a fly in here. Anyway, uh, extension one, they have Fear, hallucinary, hallucinary Terrain, Ice Storm, Mass Morph, Monster Summoning Two, Plant Growth, Polymorph Others, Polymorph Self, Remove Curse. Wall of Ice, Wall of Fire, Wizard Eye. At 5th level, they have Animal Growth, Animate Dead, Cloud Kill, Conjure Elemental, Contact Higher Plane, Extension 2, Feeble Mind, Hold Monster, Magic Jar, Monster Summoning 3, Pass Wall, Telekinesis, Teleport, Transmute Rock to Mud, Wall of Iron, Wall of Stone. Huh. And then at level 6, they have Anti Magic Shell, Control Weather, Death Spell, Disintegrate, Enchant Item, Extension 3, Guys, Invisible Stalker, uh, Legend Lore, Lower Water, Monster Summoning 4, Move Earth, Part Water, uh, Project Image, Reincarnation, Repulsion, and Stone to Flesh. That's a lot of spells. And then it goes into each spell, you know, with who can cast it, and you have your descriptions. Uh, but who can cast it, the casting time, the range, the components, the duration, and then a couple of sentences that describe the spell, which is all you really need. Now, that being said, as far as magic and spells go, that's a lot to play with. That's a lot of tools in the toolbox for the magic user. However, if you want spells from other games, it is not hard to convert those spells over to OSR. And most OSR spells are already set up like this, so it's easy to just take them as is. Where I would be careful is when you're using like the SRD stuff uh, from 5th Ed and pulling um, spells from 5th Ed or 3rd Edition or whatever over to use. Some of those spells are way too powerful in this version of the game. Um, or they completely negate certain aspects of the game. Uh, for instance, like uh, like Damien brought up in his video recently, Goodberry. Goodberry pretty much completely wipes out the need for using provisions. And therefore, yes, that I mean, uh, I can see where some players would be like, well, that's cool. But on the other hand, by doing that, you are 
negating a whole aspect of the game that can create really cool stories or it can cause players to uh, have side quests and adventures. It, there's just, there's, there's certain spells you want to really think about. Are they going to work good in this style of game before you bring them over? However, it's your game. RPG Police ain't coming to your door. You play how you want to play. You have fun how you want to have fun with your players. Uh, I'm just telling you what's in the book and giving you my thoughts on how it plays. So if you have any questions about the spells or magic system outside of my personal way I do it because that'll be covered in my house rules video, feel free to put them in the comments below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Until next time, my friends, good gaming and good luck.